DHCP provides a superset of the functions provided by bootp. This video describes the interactions between DHCP and bootp network participants. The dynamic host configuration protocol that is DHCP provides a mechanism for transmitting configuration parameters to host using the TCP IP protocol suit. The format of DHCP messages is based on the format of boot P messages so that in certain circumstances DHCP and boot P participants may exchange messages. DHCP introduces a small change in terminology intended to clarify the meaning of one of the fields. What was the vendor extensions field in boot P has been renamed the options field in DHCP. Similarly, the tagged data items that were used inside the boot P vendor extensions field which were formerly referred to as vendor extensions are now termed simply options. Boot P clients and DHCP servers. The format of DHCP messages is defined to be compatible with the format of boot P messages so that existing boot P clients can interoperate with DHCP servers. Any message received by a DHCP server that includes a DHCP message type option is assumed to have been sent by a DHCP client. Messages without the DHCP message type option are assumed to have been sent by a boot P client. Support a boot P clients by a DHCP server is optional at discretion of the local system administrator. If a DHCP server that is not configured to support boot P clients receives a boot request message from a boot P client that server silently discards the boot request message. If a DHCP server is configured to support boot P clients, it may be configured to supply static addresses, automatic addresses or both. Static addresses are those that have been previously assigned by a system administrator and are stored in database available to the DHCP server. Automatic addresses are those selected by the DHCP server from its pool of unassigned addresses. Since boot P clients may not be prepared to receive automatic addresses, the decision to allow a DHCP server to return automatic addresses must be under the control of the system administrator. If a DHCP server supports supplying automatic addresses to boot P clients, this feature must be configurable and the feature must default off. Enabling of the feature must be the result of an active decision by the system administrator. If a DHCP server returns a automatic address, the boot P client will not be aware of DHCP lease mechanism for network address assignment. Thus, the DHCP server must assign an infinite lease duration to for automatic addresses assigned to boot P clients. Such network addresses cannot be automatically reassigned by the server. The local system administrator may choose 
to manually release network addresses assigned to boot p clients a dhcp server that supports boot p clients must interact with boot p clients according to the boot p protocol the server must formulate a boot p boot reply message rather than a dhcp dhcp offer message that is the server must not include the dhcp message type option and must not exceed the size limit for boot reply messages the server marks a binding for a boot p client as bound after sending the boot p boot reply as non dhcp client will not send a dhcp request message nor will that client expect a dhcp ack message dhcp servers may send any dhcp options to a boot p client as allowed by the dhcp options and boot p vendor extensions in summary a dhcp server one may support boot p clients second may return automatic addresses to boot p clients third must provide a configuration switch if returning automatic addresses to boot p clients fourth must default this optional configuration to off fifth must abide by the boot p specification when interacting with boot p clients and sixth is may send dhcp options that is those options defined in the dhcp options document but not in the dhcp vendor extensions documents to a boot p client dhcp clients and boot p servers a dhcp client may use a reply from a boot p server if the configuration return from the boot p server is acceptable to the dhcp client a dhcp client must assume that an ip address returned in a message from a boot p server has an infinite lease a dhcp client should choose to use a reply from a dhcp server in preference to a reply from a boot p server